Hey everyone, welcome to week one of our AWS Bootcamp and I believe everyone is enjoying all the sessions by all the folks who are putting a lot of effort to share their real experiences. I am going to cover the pricing consideration for cloud development environment for this week. If you have created the AWS account but not set up the billing alert, I request everyone to follow the week zero video because that is the most important part as our goal is to remain under free tier as much as possible. So let me start it with Gitpod. Gitpod is providing the cloud development environment and they are providing a generous free tier which will cover 4 core, 8 GB and 30 GB of storage and the usage will be around 50 hours per month. So up to 50 hours of the usage, you can use Gitpod cloud development environment with your favorite language as well as mm, to complete your homework. But you need to make sure you will avoid the multiple environment at the same time because, because usage will be aggregated. So don't cross the mark of 50 hours. And let's jump directly to Gitpod website and try to understand more. So just type gitpod.io and you will see the home page just click on the pricing part and you will see for a single user up to 50 hours they are providing free of cost and i'm just scrolling down and this is very handy calculator we are not going to touch the user's number let remain it one and let's try to play with this calculator now so even if you go to the mark of 11 hour per week and you will remain with the standard infrastructure tier still you are going to pay zero we are expecting that for this bootcamp you need on average two hours a week but if you want to explore it more please play with this calculator and try to understand where the break-even mark is so if it is going 12 hours a week even in the standard tier it will be chargeable so let's remain under standard tier and i believe 4 core 8 gb ram is more than enough to complete the exercise but if you want to play with more infrastructure just try to spend some time on this and the another important part is once you will stop working on the environment if there is no activity after 30 minutes it will be stopped so that you will remain under the 50 hours mark so make sure you try, you'll spend some time on this page and get familiar yourself with how the pricing is working here. I'm just clicking on my dashboard to show a little bit further because I have set up my GitHub account and connected with my Gitpod account and there is a demo repository I have created. So you can see my environment right now is in stop state. So I'm going to open this and it will start my environment. It will take a couple of seconds to spin this up and I will see the cloud development experience. So it is like usually we use IDEs by installing in our system. So it is providing the same kind of experience, but it is cloud native or cloud based. So this is my Gitpod CDE. So let me go back to my dashboard again and I'm just going to click on the user settings I just want to show some billing information and here you can see that as I was exploring it 496 credits are remaining so spend some time explore it and enjoy the cloud development experience now let's go back to the presentation and talk about our second cloud development environment which is provided by github and it's known as code spaces so code spaces is providing up to 60 hour of users per month if we set up our environment with the configuration of two cores 4 gb ram and 50 gb of storage and if we increase the infrastructure configuration then the free users will be up to 30 hours so you need to make sure that if you are going to use more infrastructure the users will get reduced let me go to the browser and we will explore about github code spaces type github code spaces in your favorite search engine and uh, this is the first link which i found and here you can learn a bit about pricing and uh, as i mentioned in the presentation if you want to remain under free tier you need to make sure you will be using under two core or four core even you can go to the eight core but the uses are will be lesser so let's go to the environment i'm just clicking get started for free and i'm clicking on new code spaces here 
I can select the repository. Let me try if I can select my Hugo repository and default branch, the region. Here you can select if you need two code or four code. And another tip here is it is mentioning 32 GB of storage. 15 GB is free because the storage will grow as more the code files will be there. So 32 is the maximum line, but by default it 15 GB will be covered under free tier. So there is no charge going to happen to you. Just go click on the code spaces. Uh, just click on creating code spaces and it will take a minute to set this up. Okay, so now our code spaces is set up. You can play and make sure you calculate the time. And once you close this window after some time of inactivity, this will also go in the stop state. Let's go to presentation and now we are going to talk about AWS Cloud9. So Cloud9 was the independent platform which AWS acquired a couple of years ago and uh, it is integrated with AWS ecosystem now. So Cloud9 is using EC2 underneath. So if you have created your new AWS account so you can use cloud 9th free for entire month if you are using t2 micro underneath to run your cloud development environment but if you are using your t2 micro or any other free tier instance for your other purpose then i request to avoid cloud 9 or if you want to create a separate aws account dedicatedly for cloud 9 you can enjoy the aws free tier and cloud9 using t2 micro instance so let's go to now aws console and we will explore more about this let me click on sign into the console and here we will type cloud9 and make sure you select the right region in which you want to spin up i'm just clicking on create environment aws bootcamp and here new ec2 instance and you need to select t2 micro and then you can fill the settings and then you can click on create i'm not creating this but just want to show but here it's a tricky part if you are using your free tier instance somewhere else in the account avoid aws cloud9 because at the end of month the bill will be aggregated hours of uses so even if you use t2 micro with cloud9 and you are using t2 micro or t3 micro for some other purposes maybe hosting application or completing other tasks the bill will be there so make sure to avoid now i want to cover an important topic here if you watch the security video and following all the step by step to remain under free tier if possible please avoid cloud trail so CloudTrail is a service which will log all the API requests towards your AWS resources as well as AWS account. By default, it will log all the requests for 90 days. So if you are going to create a new trail, make sure you need to unselect few options. Let me set up a demo cloud trail here first of all just unselect the setting log file under kms encryption because kms operation can be expensive and then click next and make sure you have you have not select data events or insight events because by default if it is not that cloud trail will only log the aws control plane event or management events but here you can see there is no other option but as soon as i click on the data events you will see the other category of options are here again this can be super expensive so please avoid that yes for the production environment you need to do but to complete this boot camp and remain under the free tier we prefer not to select or enable the data event or inside events even if you don't want to set up the cloud trail that is also fine because for the 90 days cloud trail will store the logs you can see the event history and all the logs here with that we are completing our this week's video i hope everyone is enjoying the bootcamp and see you next week take care